Now the tropics are still very, very active. We are getting into the peak of the season. We still have no tropical threats to the Gulf or the Caribbean, but we now have two named storms. Hurricane Lee is a category five this morning, and we have tropical storm Margo. Margo is going to stay out to sea, but Lee's the one that has everyone's attention, of course, as it is now a category five and uh, it looks like uh, it could get even stronger. You could see this morning just that tiny eye. It maybe is trying to get a, got a little disrupted, but it will likely continue to maintain this intensity over the coming days. You can see passing north of the islands. That's great news, but there it is strengthening. They have it up to 180 mile per hour hurricane. There's only ever been seven hurricanes that strong or stronger in the Atlantic Basin. So really, really rare instances here with this hurricane. And then as it gets towards next week, Tuesday and Wednesday, it begins to slow down and then that's when it starts to make that turn. But whether you're in the Turks and Caicos or Bermuda, still keeping a very close eye on this because that turn is extremely important on who sees impacts and what this does down the road. So for now, it's still riding around that ridge of high pressure. That ridge will slow it down some into Monday and Tuesday, and then that's when it starts to make that turn. But you can see as we get into next week, there's still that widespread. Some models get it closer to the Turks and Caicos. Some models turn it a bit sooner. Then as we get into the middle and end of next week, it starts to get pulled to the north. This is going to get pulled to the north, but the big question still remains. How close does it get to New England? How close does it get to the Canadian Maritimes as we get into the end of next week and next weekend? So those zones, especially up here in New England and up towards uh, areas like Halifax watching this very, very closely. Bermuda's watching it closely and still the Turks and Caicos are watching it closely. We'll keep you updated on it, but it is a massive hurricane. And while it's probably not going to be that strong, it, once it gets up towards uh, the north there in the northern Atlantic, it's going to be a massive storm producing quite a bit of rain and surge and waves. Here's our seven day forecast. Not looking too bad as we get into the weekend. We'll look at the lower humidity still in the 90s, but feeling OK. And then next week we'll have another front approaching us around Wednesday. Leslie, that'll bring us a chance for some rain as well.